Hi, this is Melinda and in this video we'll look at how to add a user to your Google Analytics account and we're going to have a look at that using the new version of Google Analytics. So let's jump over to the login page. To log into Google Analytics you go to google.com forward slash analytics. There's the link up there and click the big blue box that says access analytics and that's where you'll be able to put your email address and password in but I'm actually already logged in so it takes me straight through. This is the screen that you see when you first log into the new analytics. If you did want to have a look at your data, you would click on that grey link there and it shows you all the reports. But today to add a user, we actually go to this admin button in the top right hand corner there. So just click admin and go through and this is where you'll see the account administration page. So click on the name of the account that you want to adjust, which this is the one we're going to use for this example. And you'll see all these extra tabs up the top. If you don't actually have some of this functionality, it probably means that you don't have administrator level access to your account. So just ask whoever set it up for you, let them know that you need your access upgraded. So you should have, if you are an administrator, you'll have this tab here called users. That's the one we're looking at in this video. And this tab shows you all the email addresses that have access to your account and the level of access. So there's two roles, there's administrator and user. Administrators can do anything, including adding and deleting users, um, whereas users are set up just to be able to view reports but not make other changes like setting up goals and things. So if you wanted to add a new user, click this button here, new user, and then you simply type in the email address that the person's given you that wants the access, and it needs to be an email address that's linked to a Google account. And there you can select either user or administrator. Um, if you select user you, and you have different profiles set up, you can actually just give them access to specific profiles by clicking, the whole list would be there if you had more than one, just clicking add. But if you select administrator, they get access to everything. So you just need to put their email address in and click create user there. Um, which I won't add because I've got everyone added that I want to this account. Uh, the final thing on the video, if you did want to delete someone's access so you're no longer working with them, you can just click delete over in this column. But it's very important before you delete an administrator, make sure there's still an administrator with access to your account. Ideally that would be you or someone you work closely with because if you delete the only administrator, you're actually locking yourself out of a lot of functionality that you'll need. So like I said, you can delete anyone from over there, but if it is an administrator, make sure someone else that you know with a login that works still has administrator access. Thanks, and I hope you enjoyed the video.